Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on application problems. Okay, Julie has a coupon for 45% off the final purchase price at Best Buy. Her total for her new phone and accessories was $346.38. If the tax rate is 5.5%, what will Julie's final bill be? Okay, so what we need to do is figure out the coupon and then the tax rate. And I'm going to show you how to do this two ways because there's two, uh, two ways students often like to approach it. And I want you to see that it's going to be the same price no matter what. So first of all, um, if she has a coupon for 45% off, 100% minus 45% means she's actually paying 55%. So um, if we use a proportion with percents, 100% of the bill is $346.38, and we want to know what 55% is. So we are going to cross multiply. So 100x is equal to 19,050.9. We divide by 100. And x is equal to 190.509. We then want to figure out the tax. Well, the tax is 5.5%, but it's really 100% plus 5.5%. So when you're paying tax, you're really paying 105.5%. So we're gonna set up that same kind of proportion again. So we have 105.5 over 100. This time our total will go up and what the total is is our 190.509. And I'm not rounding because cash registers wouldn't round at this point. So we cross multiply again and we get 100x equals 20,098.6995. We divide by 100 and we find out that the final bill is $200 and 99 cents. So this is a really common way setting up these proportions um, with percent over 100, is over of, or part over of, with your total lining up with 100%. Uh, once you get used to percents, uh, and once you get into exponentials, kind of a nicer way of doing it a little bit faster and this is, you know, the way I would like students to move towards going is you start with your 346.38 and you move everything to decimal instead of percent. So 100 as a decimal is 1 and you're taking away 45%. So discount of 45 minus 0.45. And you just store that into your calculator. So instead of doing all of this, you just do 1 minus 0.45. You throw that into your calculator and you get 190.509 in one step. Quite nice. Then for the tax, you take 190.509. Again, start with one representing 100% plus, and that's our tax rate, so 0 0.055. And you throw this into your calculator and what comes out is 200.99 and it's much slicker 100 minus discount as a percent percent as a decimal 100 plus tax as a decimal this is a much easier way to read and it's a lot less clunky so this is the way I would like students to move but a lot of students still like the cross multiplication of percents all right I hope you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.